Welcome back once again, Spazites. This is Gizmo Spaz. And today I have before you a mysterious manila envelope. I think that's manila. I'm not sure. Yellow bubble mailer. Today we have the July minifigure club pack. So we're going to go ahead and rip this bad boy open and find out what's in it. Give me a second to adjust my camera so that I'm not bumping it as much. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rip this bad boy open. Now, like I said, this is the July one. I don't know if they follow a theme each month or, or how that works. But let's go ahead. I'm just going to pull out... Let's see what our first thing is, is the... Uh, the card, here are a few of our favorite photo submissions. So these are what some of the other people from the Minifigure Club have, uh... Ooh, I need to take place in the photography into five piles. Heads, headgear here toward that. Yeah, that's the Blindfold Minifigure Challenge. Photography Challenge, give me some space. Take your minifigures on an imaginary trip into space. Cool, we'll put that to the side for now. Let's grab out all the, uh paper stuff before we do our minifigures. Here's this month's <laughs> cool <laughs> ballerina <laughs> troopers. <laughs> that's, that's cute. <laughs> okay, here's our uh, our special piece bag. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. We'll open that last. Here is our bookmark. Never give up on your dreams featuring the spaceman. And that's, uh, I believe that Spaceman is one of the, uh, one of the Minifigure Club members, Sig Figs. Let's see what else do we got here. I know there's a, a magnet in here somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to pull everything out to the side so I can find the good stuff. Okay, here's my, uh, sticker for the month. Here's our magnet featuring the Spaceman. I really hope my Sig Fig gets turned into a magnet. But my Sigmig fig is also a spaceman, so I'm not sure. If they just did a spaceman, I probably wouldn't get one soon. For some reason, whenever I pull him off of the train, he loses his roller skates. Anyway, <laughs> that's my Sig fig, but we'll, we'll just put him there for now. And then we have a big sticker for the minifig club. And, uh, yeah, here's our, our two bags. They're blind bags. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope, that's it. So we'll go ahead and throw that in the trash there. And open up our two bags. I guess I could have just dumped everything out, considering they're in these bags that you can't really see through. Okay, these are, I think these are the smaller accessory pieces. So let's open those first. Okay. Here we have a, uh, a little basket for produce. We have a carrot. Cool. Got a, uh, a, a helmet, a random mm, generic racing helmet. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't include any visors, but I've got plenty of spare visors. We have a coffee mug, which is kind of cute. Give that to Randy Sigfig since she loves coffee. I get one of these cool uh, s concrete saws or emergency saws, whatever you want to call that. We also got a, uh, a wrench, a push broom, a hat, a hair, a very generic brown hair, and a binoculars. Okay, that's everything in the accessories bag. Now let's check the actual minifigure bag and see what kind of parts we got. Let's move all these to the side and dump out our parts. Is that? Nope, almost. There we go. I got a, uh, whoops, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I'm back. I gotta be a lot more careful about that. Now, I'm not sure where this one comes from. But we got this minifigure helmet. It's a double-sided one. I'm assuming this is a Marvel character of some sort. I'm not sure who it is, though. So there's one head. Uh, we have an unfortunately blank yellow head. 
just a completely blank yellow head I guess for a mannequin or dummy actually that's not the right color yellow that's more of an orange almost we have uh oh cool is that gold tooth from agents perhaps a different character I'm gonna have to look that one up because I think I might have this one on a uh, a character it looks like he's got gold jaws. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to put that in my special pile. Let's see. We got a Native American top, maybe? I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to have to look that one up, too. It might be... It might be... Oh, it's a licensed top because it's got normal... Caucasian hands instead of yellow. Huh, I'm not sure. This is a uh, cool pants. I know that, I think that's for collectible minifigures. Uh, let's see, here we have another head. Oh, that's got to be a Chima head of some sort. One with flight goggles and the other one without the goggles. Even though all the Chima heads came with animal heads. See, we got a pair of generic red and white clown pants. We got a pair of kitty pants. Here we have a uh, fancy shirt. I'm not sure whose shirt that is. Printed on the front and back. And a... Ooh! That's cool. A medieval, a medieval vest shirt. No printing on the back. That's cool. Okay, let's uh, let's at least build one minifigure out of this. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Does that that doesn't really match? Let's put the uh, even though that's almost like a skirt and he's wearing shorts. Let's go ahead and that almost looks like it matches. Okay, and then I like this head. And let's just give him brown hair, because he's going to be a medieval character, and he wouldn't look good with a modern race helmet or uh, or baseball cap. So, <laughs> I kind of like the way that looks. <laughs> and let's see, what kind of... Uh, since he's a medieval guy, let's just give him a carrot. Maybe a broom. I don't know. He, he works... You know what? Yeah. He works at a... Uh, He's an apprentice for a blacksmith. I like that. Yeah, he's an apprentice of, an apprentice blacksmith. I know he looks a little older than he should be a print, an apprentice, but that's what he is. He's an apprentice blacksmith. Let's see. Let's uh let's put together uh something random here. Ugh. Okay, a little girl cosplayer. Just because I think that's a female top, I'm not sure. But <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and then this will be a bird person. <laughs> Birds like vegetables, right? Even though the back of the hat does not cover up the back of the head. <laughs> well, let's give our Princess Blacksmith a wrench, too. I don't know why. Lucy, is that you? Our kitten is making noise. Okay, well, I built three minifigures. We got a couple of extra pieces here, including our, our coffee mug. We'll give that to our young cosplay person. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the extra... Oh, wait, I didn't open the gold bag. I didn't open the gold bag. Let's see what it is. I wonder what it is. I like these little gold foil bags. They just look neat. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot the gold foil bag. Uh, it is... Oh, it's a Greedo head. It's a Star Wars head. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's a pretty unique figure. Uh, yeah, figure piece. It's a Greedo head. Ah, okay, well, here's everything. I, yeah, that's it. And then we got our 
our sticker and our magnet and our and our other stuff and stuff and yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> There's everything. Anyway, till next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, as usual, be kind. Whoop, let's zoom out. Be kind. Happy hunting. And goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. I want this virus to go away. I'm sick of being in all the time. Till next time. Bye.